Hey guys, it's Becky from Bama, and today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite comic books. So today, since we are talking about comic books, I wore my pal little hair accessory so that I would be properly accessorized. So I read actual comic books. I do like the shows. I did watch like the Marvel Luke Cage and Daredevil and things like that. And I do love the movies. Spoiler alert, Doctor Strange is my favorite movie of all time because it's got my favorite actor. Well, one of my favorite actors. Benedict Cumberbatch is amazing, but I think probably my favorite actor of all time is Michael Emerson, probably the most underrated actor ever. He was Ben Linus in Lost and Harold Finch in Person of Interest. And I would watch absolutely anything that he is in just because he is amazing. So Harold Finch, Ben Linus, Michael Emerson, if you do anything else like this, please let me know because I want to watch it. He's taking a little time off from TV right now and doing some live theater. So I'm anxiously awaiting when he is back on TV because he's doing it in California. So I can't actually go because I'm Becky from Bama, which is really far from California. But I digress. Back to comic books. So, I read comic books, the actual comic books. I read them on Marvel Unlimited, which is a subscription service that you can get on your mobile devices where you can read comic books that are Marvel and that are not the brand newest ones. They don't take too long to get them on there, but you're not going to, like, this month's issue will not be on there. And then we also get, at our house, print subscriptions. So I'm just going to talk about my five favorites and maybe you'll see some that you like that you hadn't thought about and you can give them a try. So my favorite, favorite of all time is Mockingbird. Now this is one of the new runs that Marvel started in 2016 and she only made it for eight issues. Which really makes me sad because this is such a great comic. One of the problems in the past with girl superheroes is most of the time they're written by men and instead of being written for females they're written as kind of this male fantasy where you have this half-dressed kind of dumb chick running around like girl fighting other girls and sitting around in her underwear crying about her makeup all the time and that is not what girls want to read in their superhero comic books this one is actually written and illustrated by two awesome chicks and it's written the way it's written for females the way that male comics are written for males so she is like the take no crap super tough like she's like the equivalent of the Captain America or Spider-Man or something like that but she's a chick and she's awesome so especially for you ladies I suggest Mockingbird and even the dudes like it. My husband loved it. So it's not just for ladies. Just because it's written by some chicks that are awesome doesn't mean that it's just for ladies. It's really good for guys or girls. And if you like corgis, spoiler alert, you'll love this too. So then the second one that I want to talk about is, we just talked about my favorite movie. Now I have these big things here. This is what we keep our comic books in. See, these are just big binders of comic books. And like this one is mine. It's got my name on it. And it is da -da, Doctor Strange. Now the reason I like Doctor Strange is he has got everything that I think a superhero needs. He is a very, very tough and he's a little arrogant, which I personally prefer in my superheroes. And he's got a lot of swagger. I like my superheroes to have swagger. I don't like superheroes that are sissies that get beat up all the time and just barely win. I'm looking at you, Daredevil. I don't like it when I have to wonder if my superhero might just get beat down this time. I want someone that is decisively going to win the battle. If you watch the Marvel movies, think about the elevator scene with Captain America in the elevator where he asks if anybody wants to get out, like now's the time. That's the kind of superhero that I want. And so I feel like Doctor Strange is just a perfect combination of good-hearted yet arrogant swagger superhero so I love the Doctor Strange and it is still a current run it started with the new Marvel lines in 2016 but it's still going it hasn't got the axe yet like Mockingbird so that's the second one number three I'll go ahead and warn you 
Not everybody's going to like this one. Not everybody is like me, and I'm okay with that, but these are my top five, so we're going to show it anyway. And that is Lenore, the cute little dead girl. Now, this is by Roman Dirge, and it is published by Titan Books. This one is actually hardcover, graphic novel, and this is the volume one. There's three volumes of this one. This is Noogies, and it is beautiful. The artwork is amazing. If I were going to get a weird, freaky tattoo of a comic book character, I'm just saying she's the one I'd get. Look at that. Oh, she's so cute. See, what I love about Lenore is that she speaks to both my girly side that likes cute, girly characters and my morbid, weirdo, freak side that likes weirdo, morbid, freak stuff. So, they also have on YouTube, you can find a series of animated shorts with Lenore, but I would not probably suggest that you watch them if you don't have really dark sense of humor and if you don't like really weird kind of morbid things. They're definitely not for children unless you have like weird psycho children, so don't let your children watch them because you don't want to do that. But even probably you don't even want to watch them. But I just thought I'd let you know, just in full disclosure, that there are animated shorts of Lenore. And I think she's cute and awesome. So number four, I don't have a picture of. I don't have one to hold up and show you. Maybe I will like insert something right here where you can see it. But it is the Dark Tower comics. These are through Marvel. And they are plotted out and written by Robin Firth and Peter David, but they are based on the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Now, I don't generally have like a favorite book. I have favorite book series. And my favorite book series of all time is The Chronicles of Narnia, which is amazing. But my second favorite book series of all time is The Dark Tower series by Stephen King. It's only seven books if you haven't read it. Stop this video, go buy it, and read it right now because it is super awesome. So these novels, graphic novels, are based on the Dark Tower series. Now, in the beginning, they are straight from the books, but then they branch out and they actually have storyline that is not in the books. So don't think if you've read the book, you know the whole story and that there's no use in reading them because there's actually a different story that is in these graphic novels and the artwork is just amazing like you would want to tear out every page and just frame it and hang it on your walls it is beautiful it is a piece of art and it's actually the very first comic I read that made me think hey I could read comic books I could be someone that reads comic books my husband started out reading comics with the Infinity Gauntlet series with Marvel he was reading all the Infinity Gauntlet comics with Thanos and Adam Warlock and all those people and he really liked them and so I wanted to read some comics because he was doing something cool I wanted to do something cool and I read the Infinity Gauntlet also and I really liked it and so if you're a traditionalist and you like like the traditional comic book superheroes I highly recommend it but I have always been a little weirder and I wanted to read something a little on the edge and so I knew that I love the Dark Tower series and I got the comics and they're beautiful and amazing, so I highly recommend those. And then my number five is another one like, like our poor Mockingbird that got the axe. It came out in 2016, and it made it for 12 issues. We had a 12-issue run, and that is Ant-Man. The Astonishing Ant-Man, actually, if we want to be proper. And we do, The Astonishing Ant-Man. So, Ant-Man is hilarious, which is what I love about it. It's really funny. It is really a satire and a commentary on social media in our current times. And if you like the movies, if you think that Paul Rudd is an amazing Ant-Man, which I personally do. I think he's great, and I love his Ant-Man. I love how he's like very real and very down-to-earth and hilarious and has a very kind of dry sense of humor then you'll love this because his character is very close to what is in the comics. And he just gets in all these crazy situations and the people that are kind of like his lackeys, they're also hilarious. They're some of the funniest things in the whole comic. So I would highly recommend it. And now that it's an ended run, I mean, you can get all 12 issues, just like with a Mockingbird, you can get all eight and you'd have the whole run. So maybe one day there'll be collector's items and that's a special bonus. Now I want to give some honorable mentions 
because we only did five and obviously I read more than that so I wanted to give a few honorable mentions first of all I would like to mention one called Next Wave. Next Wave is available on Marvel Unlimited. It's a little bit older and it is hilarious. If you're just wanting something entertaining and funny, and it is for grown-ups, definitely. This is not one for your children. It is more of an adult kind of humor, but it is hilarious. Now, it's not adult like Deadpool is adult. It's not that adult, but it is still probably not for children, but it is hilarious. And also another one that my husband really liked is Planet Hulk. It's not like the normal Incredible Hulk series that you would think of or like the Hulk from the movies or the Hulk on TV. It's like really an interesting storyline. I didn't read it, but he was telling me the story of it and it just sounded really intriguing. So I would recommend Planet Hulk. If you have a young girl and you want somebody that's super awesome, that's not all about uh, being scantily clad, uh, Squirrel Girl is a really good one. I love Squirrel Girl. She's more, she reminds me a little bit of the Archie comics because it's that kind of artistry and those kind of stories. But she's super tough to be a Squirrel Girl and she can communicate with squirrels, which are really cute. So that's pretty awesome. So, what are your favorite comics? Leave a comment telling me what your favorite comic is and maybe that'll give me some suggestions for some new stuff to read. I'm always on the lookout for something new and different and entertaining. I'm really wanting to check out um, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Did I say that right? Not sure. I'm going to look it up. But the front cover was like very intriguing to me. So that's one that I'm wanting to look into. And there's a few more I'd like to look into. So let me know what you like and I can't wait to see your suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me tremendously. And if you want to see more videos about comic books and nerd culture, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.